What is going on everybody? I just wanted to make a little channel update for all of you. I am still planning 100% on making YouTube videos, but we're gonna get into the reasons why I feel I haven't been doing it quite as much lately. Number one, if you haven't followed along, I had a big, big Kickstarter this year and uh, it's going to be a lot of work to get it fulfilled. Uh, it just ended like a week ago and I was completely overwhelmed during the whole thing and completely overwhelmed until about a couple days ago. So it was nothing to complain about because it was so successful, but it was very overwhelming as somebody that oftentimes struggles with anxiety and self-doubt and worry, I guess, paranoia maybe even. Uh, it's really stressful watching that Kickstarter every day and thinking about it every single moment of every day, waking up, you know, if you have to wake up to use the bathroom in the middle of the night, you know, I check the comments before I would go back to sleep even. So it was very, very uh, all encompassing, I guess you would say. And uh, it's, I guess it's over now, the campaign anyway. Now is the part where I get to sit down, check like 50,000 paintbrushes and listen to a whole bunch of audio books. And uh, it's wonderful. So that's one of the big things because of that. I've already been working on a lot of the paintbrushes, you know, trying to get ahead of it. I had no idea it would be this big. So I don't have as many as I thought I would at this point, but I'm still working, you know, daily or almost every day on it. Uh, I do often take Saturdays, for example, off to go play games. Uh, Wednesday night and Friday night are nights I go to the local game store and paint. And because of all the stuff going on here, I haven't actually painted a whole heck of a lot at home. So it's nice to leave two nights a week and just paint for a couple hours at the game store with some friends. So what I've been working on besides the Kickstarter, uh, I finished my third car tonight for Gaslands. Uh, just playing around with these. Uh, we're going to actually play some of this tomorrow, so that'll be fun. I almost finished a commission for some eliminate Raven Guard Eliminators for a friend. Uh, I painted this uh, kind of blue face monkey style gorilla, like a big metal gorilla for a friend's uh, shapeshifter D&D &D character. And uh, I'm almost done with my Dire Avengers for my Eldar. I got a unit of Tanum, which is the first unit for my Eldar that I painted. A few more things to do on them, but they're about ready to be varnished and we're going to see if we like them. And then I got all my Space Marine stuff, of course. So that's what I've been doing hobby-wise. Uh, definitely had to not take a... The thing with uh, overthinking, I've been called a thinker, a dreamer, a worrier, uh, and I'm all of those things for sure, 100%. My brain uh, definitely doesn't stop when I start thinking about stuff. So uh, one way that I had to take a break from... Uh, the Kickstarter was I started watching The Boys on Amazon Prime, and this was like a week or so ago now, but I got to watch the eight episodes of that show, and that was really good. So if you have a show on Amazon Prime you want to recommend to me, uh, let me know which ones I should watch, because I'll probably try and, you know, get an episode in a night or whatever, just to kind of take a break from hobby stuff. I don't know. I don't even know, it's weird. Not even hobby stuff, because I still love painting more than anything. And uh, I don't know, it's just been a wild, wild time. Another reason I haven't been so much on making videos is I haven't played a lot of 40K recently. So after LVO, I haven't got a game in yet. Again, I don't think. And I've been playing some Gaslands, but still just kind of some basic new stuff. And this isn't really a Gaslands channel, so I didn't want to make a ton of content about that game. Uh, I do want to make painting videos, possibly to show you how to paint one of these little cars up. They're really, really easy to do. Uh, I think there is definitely some value in painting up these cars and selling them on eBay. So if somebody out there needs to make, you know, an extra 20, 40 bucks a week, paint a car or two, sell them up on eBay. People are buying them right now. The game is very popular. Uh, the local game store that I'm at, I mean, they get in a stack of these rule books and they're all sold out within a couple weeks if not a week. So I would definitely think there's uh, some trendingness going on with the game Gaslands. 
So you want to make a couple extra bucks, uh, buy up some Hot Wheels, glue some bits to it, paint them up, put them on eBay. You, you know, it might work out. It might turn into a little side gig for you. Uh, we still got a pile of Eldar to work on. I will be trying to get... I think what I need to do for them is make maybe a kind of base army list, maybe like a 1,500-point army list or a 1,000-point army list. And just so I have a maybe a direction to aim what I should be painting. So, you know, I always basically play 2,000-point games. But if I had about a core 1,000 points and then, you know, the other 1,000 changing it from game to game, uh, that would at least give me an idea of what I should be painting for the first, you know, couple units so I can fill out that first 1,000 points. Obviously, things like uh, Guardians or Dire Avengers HQs are going to be useful. So maybe Fire Prisms or something like that. Uh, but, you know, I probably need to give myself a little bit more direction on what I should be working on on the Eldar because I have so much Eldar. It's a little overwhelming to just decide, like, ah, I'm going to paint this. Not overwhelming. I don't know. <laughs> uh, another thing, too, when you spend all day sitting, inspecting paintbrushes, is basically what I do. So I wake up and maybe make something to eat or a smoothie. I'm a big smoothie person. Uh, and then I sit down, put on like a podcast or an audio book or something on YouTube, TED Talk, whatever. And I sit there and I drink my smoothie and I clean paint brushes for hours, three, four hours, whatever. And then your legs get kind of tired. Uh, maybe you have a snack or something. And then I've been going to the gym a lot and I'll stay there for like an hour and a half, two hours sometimes. And that's because... I've been sitting all day long in a chair like this. I just have another one over there on the other side of the room at my uh, inspection table. And, uh, you know, I have to get up and move around because my body feels like it's kind of cramping up and dying sitting in a chair all night or all day. And then uh, I get home from the gym and I'm kind of pumped up. Maybe I'll, you know, cook some dinner. And then I kind of been winding down watching like the boys on Amazon or watching stuff on YouTube. I've been over here kind of modeling and piddling around with like some little dry brush here and there, some little washes on some models. But uh, when you spend all day, which a lot of you probably do this in your everyday life, you spend all day sitting down at work and then you come home and it's hard to maybe want to sit down and paint. Uh, so that's why it's kind of nice to get some painting done at the local game store because it is a change of environment. And I bring my stuff, I get to walk around, watch people's games, talk to friends. And also, you know, I get quite a bit of painting done. And it's not like, you know, lightning speed or nothing, but it does feel like you accomplished something, which is very nice. So hopefully you guys miss me so much. I'll be back more often too. Uh, I know these videos, though, they usually, videos like this channel update will get like, I don't know, 40 views or 60 views or whatever. So not a huge portion of the channel's audience even wants to see a video like this. Uh, so the people that are watching, though, which there are some subscribers and stuff that I'm pretty much, I feel like, good friends with now, uh, you know, we all kind of keep in touch. So these videos are kind of for them, you know. So that's about where I'm at right now. Hopefully I'll be getting some more games of 40k or something in that I can talk about with you guys. Uh, I don't have any real plans to purchase any uh, of the upcoming Psychic Awakenings. I bought the Eldar one this year. I want to try to play some Eldar and get some use out of that book. Uh, there's some new Necromunda stuff coming out today that I'll probably pick up the cards and stuff, but I'm not going to pick up the Gang War book, the Goliath Codex, basically. I might make a video on that. I probably will, uh, just so I can, you know, put some content up here. But everything's been going super good. Thank you if you're watching this because you found me from the Kickstarter. Like, wow, what a life. I mean, the first one was life-changing. I got to spend the whole year playing with paintbrushes and shipping paintbrushes and painting and talking to you guys. And I get to do it again. For 2020, it is incredible. It's so crazy. And, uh, you know, I got some other stuff planned. So don't think it's over yet. It's just it's just getting started. So let me know in the comments below what I should watch on Amazon. What you're painting, what I should be painting. Uh, anything, really. Let's just get a conversation going. I miss you guys and uh, excited to see you all again.